everybody. I'm here changing Benjamin. Benji is my Ashton Drake. And I'm going to try him on this Halloween all in one. Baby grow. Sorry for the strange angle, but um, I'm doing this on my bed in my bedroom. Um, and it's really hard to get a decent angle here. Um, <clears throat> usually I'll do it downstairs or in the nursery, but I'm just tired, so I do. I just thought I'd do a video where I'm showing doing Benji. I don't show Benji very often, and in fact, I don't change Benji all that often. Um, Benji's hair uh, um, makes my skin itch, so that's the reason why I don't change him that often. And um, I don't know if it's the hair or the glue that's been used. But it certainly is with his stuffing as well. It also makes my hands itch. It irritates me. And I could change the stuffing. But how he's connected. Because he's an Ashton Drake. I'm not sure I'll be able to put him back together again. So I don't really want to do that. So I took his top off. He had on. Um, he had on this top. If you go into my um, Ashton Drake playlist you'll see this is what he had on and you'll see how long he's had this on so i'm going to change him as you can see he's got quarter arms he was given to me by um, a family friend um, a couple of years ago now um because i just loved his face every time i went up there he has got on a nappy this is how his nappy fits it is a size two i believe no it's a size three pampers and he has got they're kind of like full legs i would guess but um and benji's theme is usually foxes come back down here a bit ben so everybody can see you and it was actually my um stepson who named him because when we got him we couldn't he didn't have a name and uh, we'll take his socks off I'm gonna get him ready for Halloween and then I wash everything that he's wearing before I pop it back on him but he is very very squidgy and all his fingers are all joined together there's all his little this hand is not this hand is all free says look at my hands and his just look at them so he can grip things because he's so flexible he's able to grip things and able to put things in his wrists in his wrists in his hands really well so like this little foxy toy so, and we can really hold on to him he is quite poseable as well aren't you mate because his legs so he does sit up well um it's just his eyes are going in the one direction but look at his cheeky mouth he has a very cheeky mouth and he has as i've shown people before he has very thick i can't touch it that well very thick thickly rooted hair and so not so it, it could, i think it must be the hair actually it's glued on on the inside but i don't think it's the glue i think it's the hair and whatever his body is stuffed with so um and i couldn't tell you again for the life of me although i have to keep asking auntie yvonne what um what his name is what his ashton drake's name is um yvonne from having you on has nanook she loved benji so much that she went on the hunt for one and she found one um and she's more likely to remember what it is um so don't ask me this one i know lizzie's can remember Lizzie's but he's got painted eyebrows they're quite nicely actually for painted eyebrows they're quite nicely painted and he's got quite thick um eyelashes and cutesy eyes and a cutesy mouth so let's try the singing and Benji I don't know it looks like it might be a bit long say but looks are always deceiving mama looks are always deceiving so it is Saturday here. Today I'm going to get Benji and Lizzie ready oh, for Halloween. Because they are the two of my dolls that I dress the least. You know, change the least. I don't mean dress them. 
I changed the least. Um, and then tomorrow, Frankie, me and Frankie are going to be doing the pumpkin, I think. We might leave that till Monday, actually. No, I think we might have to do it tomorrow because she's going to, obviously, she's got school. So I think we'll be doing it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. She's got school Monday. So I think we'll be doing that on Monday. Carving the pumpkin. I promised her she could do that. And then, of course, it's Halloween on Tuesday, which is the 31st. So they'll all be ready for Tuesday for the actual day of Halloween. And I did have one little outfit there for little Leo. And um, I know people have said... Um, well, you've got a lot of really cute outfits. I do, but you know what? Collect them. I've been, I've had Reborns now for like four years. And I've been collecting the clothes for them for all that time. And because I've had a few changes as well here and there. And I've got clothing of all sorts of sizes. And I always try and get clothing in the sale. Because it can go really, really cheaply after, after events. Or, um you know, off of eBay throughout the year because not many people are thinking about Halloween in May. <laughs> so that fits you really well, Ben. Yeah. See? Whoa, we got a pumpkin ready. We have to put him a hat back on. Um, He does have an orange hat, but I'll put him the blue one back on for now so that mummy don't get itchy. And, um... <laughs> I like him with a hat on anyway. So he says, hello, Nanook. Hello, Nanook. And uh, so that's Benjamin all ready for Halloween. Yeah, so that's what I do. I collect up outfits. You know, I, just, I buy like Christmas outfits and that throughout the year. As I go to um, car boot sales and stuff like that, I pick up. Um, outfits because I never know what size babies I'm going to have. You never know. <laughs> and there we go. And I think we've got a spare one over this year. So we've got a newborn girl one. So we have got one spare one. Oh, you've got a little bit of fluffy in your eye, mate. We've got one spare one over. So there we go. That Benji. Say bye bye, aunties. Hello, Nanook. Hello. <laughs> Bye everyone!